Hey guys, it's Derek from Pacific Coast Auto and this isn't a customer's car, this is a Pacific Coast Auto inventory car. It's a car that I bought kind of because I wanted it myself, but kind of because I don't really need a, a fourth car right now. Uh, the vehicle is up for sale. And so I'm going to be driving this around for a little bit because I love the car so much. And um, then if you want to buy it, then you can buy it. Just uh, check out the description to the video for the price of this. Uh, this vehicle is a 2003 and so it's importable to Canada. And what makes this super special is that it has a six speed manual transmission in it, which is really weird for the wagon body style of version of the car because around the world, it's not very easy to find these with the six speed manual. And then in Japan, you can't at all. And so this is a right hand drive version and has had the transmission swapped uh, from an original automatic to a manual. And I've put on just over 400 kilometers on it vehicle mechanically is spot on and very nice runs and drives excellently really no issues at all with it despite having kind of a little bit higher mileage at 170,000 kilometers when we bought it a little bit more than that since I've put some more mileage on it and so this is going to be a condition walk around video if you're interested in buying it please let me know um, I have already had some people inquire about it and I said wait until the video goes up and then I'm going to release it to basically whoever gives me the offer first or you know gives an offer that I'm willing to take at first and so get your uh, your mouse fingers ready to do the clicking and your keyboard fingers ready too okay so it's a um, 2.5 liter inline six cylinder engine is very smooth and nice and uh, uh, made it with the six speed manual makes it very lively it's not a fast car but it's smooth and it's nice and it's uh, it's enough power especially for a station wagon Boy, do I love that it has a six-speed manual in the station wagon. And if you're a fan of car throttle, you'll know that they just did like a racing series with an E46 Touring. And I was eating up every episode of that because I love the E46 uh, big time. And especially when it's looking good. Okay, so this one has the M Sports package. And so you get the uh, sports bumper instead of the regular bumper. You get different side skirts there and different rear bumper. You also get different steering wheel and different seats. And I think that it has uh, skid plates on the inside of the doors. Let me just check. Yeah, it does. So M Sports skid plates. So the M Sports model is kind of like the, uh, kind of like, um, you know, sportier suspension, like an M3, but without the engine. <laughs> and it's always been my dream to have an M3 wagon, but of course they never made any. So to do an engine swap, it's kind of a dream of mine. Uh, when I bought the car, it was on ugly wheels, and so I chose these wheels for the car. And I have to say, I'm, I'm quite happy with how they turned out. We got a nice big amount of dish in them. They are an SSR uh, Professor SP2, and 19 inches. And that's the suspension that came on it, which is H&R springs and Bilstein shocks. And the offset is basically perfect. You can see there. Uh, very aggressive fitment, but there's no rubbing or scraping at all, no matter how quickly you go around the corners. I just noticed one of the taillights is out. And it has a very, uh, you know, low feeling to it, but with 19s and harder suspension, the ride is going to be a little bit hard. And so you can see, you know, it's cool looking at the expense of bumpiness. Okay, so let's go over the auction inspection sheet. This is what we, I guess, we, we have been doing for all of our vehicles for sale by inventory. And of course we have more coming up. Um, let's translate this auction inspection sheet for you. So this is all the information from the auction. This vehicle didn't need anything to be changed before selling it. Sometimes we will, depending on what it is. But in this case, no. So let's go over it. It's a 2003 BMW 325 Touring M Sports. That's an original M Sports version. 2.5 liter engine. Auction grade 3.5 and interior C. It's a rear wheel drive as all the E46s are. So I guess it kind of could be a drift wagon if you really wanted it to. It's got the six speed uh, original silver 170 22 excuse me, 022 kilometers at the time of purchase. And it did have plates on it when we bought it. Now, 170, 465. I've driven 405 kilometers 
And um, yeah, I, I really don't need another car, but whenever I, I check at the auctions, and I'm sure a lot of our customers know about this, you're like, mm, gotta buy that car. I found it, gotta buy it. And then you end up buying it without having really a need. I'm glad we do have a budget for inventory vehicles, but this is as close to a personal type car as I would want to have myself. Okay, so six-speed manual, Bilstein suspension. It's actually H&R um, and Bilstein, so H&R Springs. I already mentioned that. I don't know why I'm repeating myself. Original silver paint. I uh, don't see any problem with the mileage. It looks like it's been a well-maintained car. Uh, like I said, I drove it, and I'm pretty picky. I would not do anything to this car to kind of uh, update it or anything other than oil changes and that sort of thing. So it has full history, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2000... Uh, da, 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 da. No, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2008, 2010, 2012, 2014, 2016. And then it has, um, the transmission has been swapped from an automatic to a manual. Uh, t -t 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 -t. I don't know what that says. So I, th I think basically it says that uh, it's just been transferred. Um, oh, oh, I think I know. It has been changed on registration, so officially changed. Um, airbag lamp is on, steering wheel peeling, and it's actually not bad at all, I'll show you. Trim scratched and comes up. Seat wear, engine oil leak, uh, nothing that I found that was concerning, um, to me at least. Uh, wheels scratched, various scratches and dents, and then if you look at the body here, we have some uneven paint on the hood. It says U2 on the hood there and then a scratch on the rear bumper and on the front bumper so let me show you that and i'll go around the vehicle first the u2 on the roof have a close look there are dents on there but because it's a touring and has these railings you don't see much of the roof so you can see one over there okay side panels very good hood paint Maybe the biggest defect on it. We got one here. It looks like rock chips that were touched up with touch-up paint, but maybe only semi-successfully done. A bunch of them there. You can see the badge is also peeling, as a lot of BMW badges do. And one over here. Okay, headlights are a little bit cloudy. We got the fog lights on right now, and the driving lights. And then these are the late model headlights, so they have the uh, more sleek, sexy, look to it and um, yeah the lower front valise for the M Sports edition of it making the car look a little bit more sporty oh we got another one up here okay this piece here is cracked this happens in Japan from time to time actually pretty popular because of the humidity changes the winter is very dry the summer is very wet and so it tends to crack these rubber pieces that go along the bottom of the windshield okay ah front bumper has a scuff I didn't show that so rear bumper here, a small scuff down here. The exhaust sounds nice, even though it's the original exhaust. Scuff here. Okay, and then the front one's bigger. I actually didn't notice the rear one until I went to check there, but the front one I did notice. Uh, this actually isn't it. There's a little bit of a scuff there, a little bit there. It must be on the other side. Let's go searching. Here it is, right on the scuff piece. This piece here is made to accept the scuffs from hitting things so that you can take it out easily and replace it if you need to. So scuff there, and then it goes on to the bumper there as well. Okay, wheels, I bought them used. Um, I spent 130,000 yen plus tax and shipping to me and then installed them myself, obviously. Uh, they're in good condition. They're not in amazing condition. They are a very expensive wheel and um, like brand new, quite expensive, especially in this size. But uh, 130,000 used if you can put up with one gash and a couple of scratches in, in them. Uh, the sc scratches are all very small. The gash is right here. Okay, and then the tires are really nice. They're Potenza S001, so a nice high performing tire. It's a 225-35R19 on the front. E4 markings on them, so you can make sure that they are legal. And they're a 2013 tire. I'd say probably about 85% uh, tread. And the same in the rears. The rears are a little bit wider. Do, 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 do. I think it's 235. Let me check. 
going to the other side where, because the profile on the tire is so small. There we go, 235, 35R19s, there we go. And so you get a little bit more dish in the back ones than in the front, but only about one centimeter difference. Okay, on to the interior. Um, probably one of the biggest things I don't like about this car is the steering wheel is on the right side. Some people are not gonna mind about that. I personally don't mind driving one in Canada with the steering wheel on the opposite side because you know we got a lot of customers that import their Japanese cars, but, oh, airbags on the side here. But uh, German cars and right-hand drive is opposite of what they were originally. And so for me, that's a bit of a pet peeve, but I still bought the car anyway because I still love it. See, these are the M Sport seats, and so they're half Alcantara, half cloth, which is really good because I really don't like BMW's leather seats. And I don't like the way that they smell in the E40s, uh, E46 series. You have some wear here. See how it's pilling? And here. And the passenger seat does that too. You also get memory seats here. So you can see who the last driver was. It's all power seats and everything works. And then this one is not power, but it comes out to extend for people like me who have strangely long legs, or you can sneak some things into there. But this, if this goes to Canada, you don't need to <laughs> sneak things in there as much as you used to. Okay, and okay, so that seat there has also has the wear on the side. They're kind of prone to that sort of wear. Also, I'll show you the airbag light. Airbag light is on. That one there is e-brake and that one there is seat belt. They'll go off. Okay, <laughs> it still goes neutral drive and reverse for the gear selector, which is a little bit funny. Here you can see 174, 65 kilometers. It has an aftermarket navigation unit, but I don't think it works anymore because it's super old. This is all pretty normal. Mini disc here. I think there's a CD player and maybe not. I don't know. AC works, heater works. Everything's nice and good there. I have tested it. A random switch here. Also, places where two switches used to be, and... Oh, one of those switches is the toll collection box. Interesting. Okay, and then typical of uh, the E46 and BMW, you should have known better, it has this soft material that's very easy to scratch. And so, this area near the cup holders is scratched, and scratched there, and scratched up there. And it doesn't smell like cigarettes or anything bad inside. Uh, this stuff here, you can rub the, it off and make it a smooth black plastic, and that actually makes a big difference. There's a lot of people who have this problem with the E46, and so there's lots of people online that are talking about what are the best ways to solve that problem. Unlike most BMWs, there's no saggy headliner, and it does come with the full reclining glass sunroof in there. Okay, I'm going to turn the fog lights off. Rear here, reasonable, very reasonable. And then you get the M Sport seats here in the back too with the uh, kind of cool charcoal Alcantara mix. And same peeling goes back here because kids kick and peel. But pretty clean, otherwise quite happy with that. And then the party piece of this car, because I like the sedan, but I love the wagon. You get lots of room in the back and what's very cool about Canada is that we never got the touring in the E46 so this could be quite a unique vehicle there the touring with the six speed with the 19 inch wheels and possibly the best three series that BMW ever made that's you know that's an opinion but it's my favorite and arguably like one of the best before they started doing a lot of their corner cutting so there it is BMW E46 touring let me know if you want it and we will send it to you. We can ship to basically any country worldwide as long as it's legal. Unfortunately, not legal for the USA. And then in Europe, you might find that this is a little bit expensive compared to what you can buy in Europe, but I don't really know the prices there. I just know that in Canada, this is basically the market that I would expect this to go to because of the no, uh, no wagons there and certainly no six speeds there. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, thank you so much and have a nice day.